Bye.
Right, so we've got the target set up 40 yards. Let's go and have a look, shall we? <laughs> not going to have known about those. And it's not a still day either. There's a bit of a breeze blow. That is pretty damn good. Fair dues. It's an accurate 2 2 rifle, that thing. Fair dues to it. I wasn't exactly shooting slow either. And shooting with a, a wraith. They're not exactly designed for uh, pinpoint laser accuracy on the uh, target shooting things. But that is impressive. And my sulky dog. Yeah, I'm chuffed with this. Uh, it's a solid and accurate little gun. These PCBs these days, they're all so good from the good mates. This Air Max thing's really nice. Really suits that Spartan Valhalla bipod as well. Uh, apparently, the uh, Air Max actually have uh, branding some of the uh, Spartan bipods as their own. Uh, not the Valhalla, but the normal hunting bipod. You can get it with Air Max branding on now. Cracking rifle, this thing. Lovely little thing. Matter with you, sulky? Hey, what are you sulking about? You want to run around, don't you, like an idiot? You can in a minute. Just don't want you running in front of the rifle, do I? Brilliant. This little pocket zero is doing well as well. I've had that a long time and still doing well. Indestructible thing. I've lost it twice. Once it fell out of my bag and once I left it set up and forgot I'd left it there and walked off. Took the target out of it and left the bloody thing in the ground. Brilliant idea, brilliant design on it. Fair dudes, I really like that. So many ways you can set it up. So uh, yeah, it's good. I like that pocket zero. It's a nice looking bit of kit that to uh, catch on, isn't it? Fair dudes, shoots well and it looks good. Impressed with it. Really impressed with it. Scott, where are you? Look at the camera. Ooh, look who's that in the camera. Who's that? Hey, who's that? Hey, who's that? Oh, there, it's you in it. Go on then. What you got, Scar? Hey. Quite a cold wind, boy. 
Yeah, I do. Just when I thought spring was coming, it was all going to be uh, nice and sunny and hot. It's gone bloody cold again. Oh God, she's found a stick. Come on, you nut job. You're not taking that in the bloody car. It's only that for nothing. Uh, oh, about the Catron. Yeah, dead impressed with that rifle. Like I say, I wasn't sure when I first saw them. I thought they looked a bit flimsy, but they're so bloody solid. Great rifle. You are a nutter. What are you carrying that bloody thing for? Oi, come on. They are crazy mad, patted ales, fair dues. As regards shot count, well, I put two mags through it there, and I think there's 16, I think 16 two two pallets in each magazine. So it's 32 there, and I had it up at 200, and, about 220 bar, and it's used 20 bar for those. I think it drops off the reg around about 90 bar, so looking at loads of shots, fair do. Uh, for such a small bottle. Uh, obviously it must have a really good regulator in it. Um, to get that sort of shot figures out of it. So yeah, happy days with that rifle all round really. 2-2, uh, accurate, feels solid. I like the folding stock thing, that's nice. I'm gonna get a smaller moddy for it. That moddy I've got on it's way too long, really. Uh, sort of negates the the fact that with the the folding stock, I could put it in my backpack instead of bringing a separate gun case out. Just put it in my backpack with a smaller moddy on it. So in the summer, because uh, mainly in the winter I mainly shoot at night. I must admit that's why it's got the wraith on it and the lamp on the side, the IR illuminator. So come the summer. I'll get a nice uh, lightweight telescopic sight, put a smaller, smaller moddy on it, and then uh, use it for my day shooting, along with the Alpha and Ghost and whatnot. So happy days with all them, I've got all them covered now. So the next rifle really that I've got my eye on is uh, possibly a, uh, a Pro Sport. Quite fancy another one of those. I've had one before ages ago. Ooh, that looks fresh. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, she's marking it too. There's one in there. I've fed it up now, a little bit young, but keep my eye on that one. Yeah, so as I was saying, I quite fancy a Pro Sport, another Pro Sport, but they're a bit bloody pricey, so I'm going to find a second hand one. Probably that'll be the next rifle. 